now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. One of my viewers wanted me to talk about the history of mass shooters, and in this third video in the series, I'm going to be talking about two historical mass shooters and their impact on the overall disturbing trend of mass shooting. Now, the first mass shooter I'm going to be talking about is your Howard Unruh, who participated in the Walk of Death on September 6th of 1949. Now, your Howard Unruh is someone who definitely fits the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. Now, your Howard Unruh grew up in a home where his parents separated and was raised by his single mother and talked about how he was shy and had a hard time dealing with people. And he enlisted in the U.S. military and saw action in World War II, but when he came back home from World War II, he was not able to resume life like other men did after the war. No, he became extremely disconnected and detached. And as he became disconnected and detached, he had a lot of resentment as related to people in the world. And this is where he's, he's, he could not really function as a man. So he had a job for about a month in a metal company as a sheet metal worker and started to enroll in college, but he wound up quitting both as talking about his poor physical condition and decided to go live off his mother. Now, when I look at your Howard Unruh's whole um, mind at the time, it definitely is what beta males do when they have an inferiority complex. A lot of times when beta males have an inferiority complex and they feel that they can't compete with other men, they start to withdraw. And when they start to withdraw, they start to get really bitter about life and they start to get angry because they don't really feel that they can go out here and accomplish what other men can do. And I believe that's what happened with your Howard Unruh and this affected his mental health. Now, your, uh, your Howard Unruh, as he was out here living in his mother's home and living off her income, he was sitting here creating a range inside of the basement of his mother's home where he would practice target practice. And that really shows me how he was creating a secret world for himself. Because when beta males feel inadequate about themselves, they go and create secret worlds where they can feel adequate about their masculinity. And your Howard Unruh had made a lot of um, successes in the military, winning a lot of medals for shooting. And that's probably a place where he felt like a man. But then in the real world, he didn't feel like a man. So he created this secret place where he could feel like a man. Now, he was as he was having this little place where he could feel like a man in the secret world, he was dealing with other men in the community who he was having feuds with, like his neighbor, who was upset about him using his backyard as an access to his apartment. And he was out here and he was having hard times with relationships because it's a possibility that your Howard Unruh was gay. And he was going on a day before the shooting to go meet a man for a date but he wound up late and the man wound up leaving. And I believe that possibly could have triggered a lot of his anger, not being able to function in the world. And because he couldn't function and make things work in the world, he was simmering and boiling in anger for an extended period of time. But when he found out he could not really make things work in the world as related to this attempt at a relationship, this possibly could have been the thing that wound up making him explode in rage in addition to a gate he had installed on some property that had been removed so he all of these things of trying to make things work in the world make him made probably made this guy lose it and he decided after eating a breakfast with his mother he then took his gun 
and started walking down the street and just sh shooting people. And when he did this, incident did this, he wound up murdering over 13 people, I believe, and he wound up killing these 13 people just because and he did this again some people say it was because he was mentally ill but I say it because he was a textbook beta male a ticking time bomb who had been simmering and boiling in anger for an extended period of time now when I look at your Howard Unruh he definitely fits the pattern and profile for beta males and he creates the textbook pr profile for the American mass shooter. Now, your American mass shooter seems to be an individual who either comes from a home that was a single mother household, a divorced household, and does not know how to function as a man because they don't have good male life skills, they don't have good male survival skills, and these men just don't have good male social skills, so these men have a hard time knowing how to navigate and function in life and because they don't know how to function this frustrates them it makes them angry and it messes with their mental health and it leads to their mental health deteriorating to the point where they go out here and believe that they have a right to go out here and destroy the lives of others because they cannot build a life of their own because that's what it looks like to me for with your Howard Unra. He could not really make life work for him, and because he could not make life work for him, he wanted to destroy the lives of others. I mean, I look at it, and he, they say his neighbor was a pharmacist, and I believe he was jealous of that man because that man had the success that he wanted because he wanted to be a pharmacist, and he wound up quitting after a month, and he couldn't do it, and then he also wound up quitting his job as well. He just could not make life work for him, so he wanted to destroy all the lives around him because he could not make life work as with his with his with his academics, with his career, or socially as a possible gay man. And this is what made him go out here and pull, participate in the walk of death, where he wound up killing thirteen people, including several children. Now, when I look at your Howard Unruh, again, he is the arch archetype for the first mass shooter, and he is one of the um, more disturbing individuals, and it shows us how deep the man crisis goes, and all, all of the elements of the man crisis were there, even as far back as 1949, when we had complete, mostly intact families, but the ones that were not intact created these beta male ticking time bombs and they go in out here and destroyed the lives of others and again it looks like to, again your Howard Unruh was the first real mass shooter in America and he is the model for all of the mass shooters as related to their pattern and profile of extreme behavior now another mass shooter who fits the pattern and profile for beta males was your Carl Robert Brown. Now your Carl Robert Brown was a teacher who participated in a mass shooting inside of a Florida um, machine shop where he wound up murdering eight people and injuring three more with a 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Now your Carl Robert Brown was another man who could not really make life work and I believe he started having serious issues after his first wife wound up passing away. And I believe he never really got over his first wife passing away. And then when he married a second woman, his second wife, Sylvia, she was trying to work with him to get help. But the whole thing is this beta male's mental condition was really deteriorating because he was having really serious issues about his manhood and masculinity and because he was having serious issues with his manhood and masculinity he was he was he was becoming again like your Howard Unruh more isolated and detached and he was becoming more and more disconnected from people and he had real serious issues his wife and his daughters wanted him hospitalized as related to his mental health condition but the mental health system would not put him away 
because they didn't really see that he had serious mental health issues. And this individual, this, this um, Carl Robert Brown, he had been simmering and boiling for, f with anger for many years. I mean, many people on his jobs as a teacher complained about him being a racist and being and making statements that were just very erratic. And people had been saying that there were problems with him, but there wasn't enough to show that there was a serious mental health issue where he was a threat to others or himself. But in actuality, I believe he was simmering and boiling in anger because he could not have the life that he wanted. He could not live the, in the smooth world he wanted to live in. And as he was simmering and boiling in anger, this was doing serious damage to his mental health. And as his mental health was deteriorating, he was simmering and boiling in this anger and eventually wound up exploding in rage at this machine shop after a $20 bill for repairing a lawnmower engine he wanted to use to um, power his bicycle to make it an electric bike was allegedly poorly done. And he was angry over that repair and he was also angry because his traveler's check that he had was refused and this was the incident that triggered all of the anger he had and he as he had an argument with the people in the store he went into he made a threat saying he would come back and kill everyone and this incident really shows us one of the first incidents of one of these mass shooters who goes in and gets upset with a company or has an issue with a company and then looks to go get revenge at that company so this individual this um Carl Robert Brown um he went in he got at an argument with the people at that machine shop and wanted and threatened to kill everyone and people probably didn't take it seriously but they didn't understand they were dealing with an extremely sick individual and he came back to that machine shop with that weapon and he wound up murdering eight people and it's all because he just did not know how to function as a man. He did not know how to think critically or problem solve. And again, this is all due to his deteriorated mental health condition. And he wound up murdering eight people before another person who worked at another metal shop wound up taking his life and running over his body. And again, all of this happened because this man who was a man in crisis was denied help that he desperately needed. I mean, he had a wife and daughters who already saw the serious deterioration to his mental health, but our mental health system did nothing to help him in the, in the early 80s, I believe, and they didn't do anything to help him. Now, I also believe that his the white privilege worked into this because this was a white male, and they thought, oh, this white male, there's nothing really wrong with him. But when it comes down to beta males, there's a lot wrong with them. And when you're dealing with a beta male, these guys are ticking time bombs, and it's not a matter of if he's going to go off. It's a matter of when. And with your Carl Robert Brown, he was a ticking time bomb for many years. He was frustrated, he was angry about the direction of his life, and he was very, very dark, becoming more and more dark and twisted, and he was a racist who would just basically, was starting to fill with a lot of hate, and he was, just, and what's really troubling is, as he was shown to be a racist, they transferred him to a middle school with a majority of black students, which showed how little regard people had as related to this individual, as related to his growing psychiatric problems, and they dearly didn't want to see how a clear and present danger he was, because in America we don't like acknowledging the man crisis, but with your Howard Unruh and your Carl Robert Brown, we had two men in crisis who were more archetypes for your modern day mass shooter, your Howard Unruh, who is the, as I see it, the grandfather and the in the creator of the mass shooting model uh, and you have your Carl Robert Brown who also was a mass shooter who was an archetype for the revenge at a business mass shooter and we, we there are plenty of these guys out here and again they got their inspiration from killers like Howard Unruh 
and Carl Robert Brown as related to their wanton violence, but they, the roots of that violence is due to the dysfunctional way that these men were raised because when you're dealing with a beta male, they don't get the male life skills, male survival skills, or the ability to learn how to socialize like a man, and because they get mostly female life skills and female survival skills, they don't know how to function, and when they try to function in the world as a man, they wind up falling apart, and then they want to destroy the world around them. But these are the archetypes for these mass shooters, and this is where many of these mass shooters get their ideas from, reading about these stories of men like your Howard Unruh and your Carl Robert Brown, not understanding that these were deeply troubled men, and these deeply troubled men in crisis inspire other men in crisis to participate in violence, when many of these men, if they desperately need an intervention, to show them that their behavior is dysfunctional and violent and that they're going to hurt people and that hurting people does not help them. These men, again, they, we really need to start taking the man crisis in this country seriously because if we don't start taking the, the man crisis seriously, this is why we're seeing an increase in frequency in this kind of violence and why we're seeing more and more of these incidents because we don't want to take a look in history at these men and see where there's a pattern to their behavior and that how that pattern is um, one that can be dealt with because if we really took a serious look at that pattern we would see what's wrong with these men and what's wrong with these men is that there was nobody there to be able to give them some help or some guidance before they wound up losing it. Now if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behaviors of beta males, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBookstore, Barnes & Noble, and Google Play. And if you want to see me do another video request like this viewer wanted, you can send a donation to the Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. And if I know something about that subject, I will make that video for you. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today.